Good evening, this is Luke Thomas, QuakePredictions.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 11.14 in the evening on Saturday, January 16th. And we're doing things a little bit differently today. Um, we're working with a new forecast model, so we'll be doing just a, a few of the locations. And tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have all the locations back on the video. So we're going to just do probably three or four different places. First of all, 42 earthquakes, uh, significant earthquakes across the, uh, the globe in the last 24 hours. And 5.5 uh, there in Afghanistan. And we got a significant earthquake in California, 4.2, just south of the San Francisco Bay. And a 4.4 just hit. You can see that little red circle there just... Uh, west of Petrolia or Eureka, California. That just hit. All right, let's take a look closer at uh, California here. That 4.4 hit off the coast of Eureka. 4.2 in Aromas or southeast of San Jose, southeast of the San Francisco Bay there, uh, northeast of Monterey. And that was a significant earthquake, 4.2 and a 4.4 offshore and a 4.0. Oh, that's not it. 4.0 in Olancha, which is uh, near Ridgecrest, north of Los Angeles in uh, Central California. A lot more action going on right now across California. This is the 4.3 or the 4.4 that just hit off the coast. That's the uh, peak and risk for that earthquake. And uh, in San Francisco Bay, we had a peak in risk on the 14th and we had a 3.6. And this 4.2 that hit uh, southeast of San Francisco Bay, uh, this peak here produced a 4.2. And we have another uh, spike in risk on the 18th, well, late on the 18th into the 19th. So we could get another significant earthquake in the San Francisco Bay then. But the biggest concern uh, in California is northwest of Los Angeles, <clears throat> within uh, 50 miles of Oxnard. So the anywhere between uh, Santa Barbara and uh, Los Angeles, we should get a strong earthquake. Uh, a 6.0 is not out of the question. 6.0 is possible. Northwest of LA between the 18th, you can see the peak in risk on the 18th here. And then it spikes on the 19th into the 20th. So anytime between the 18th and the 19th, uh, early on the 20th, we could get a strong earthquake northwest of Los Angeles and most likely within 50 miles of Oxnard, California. You can look that up on the uh, on Google and look that up on the map. That's that 4.3 that hit northwest California, 4.2 near San Francisco Bay, and a really strong peak northwest of LA on the 18th into the 20th. In Anchorage, with this uh, forecast model, it's... Uh, the risk had peaked, I believe, on the 14th, and uh, now the risk begins is beginning to fall there. In uh, Japan, this 4.6 that hit up here northeast of Tokyo, that happened on the 16th, and as well as this 4.3 happened on the 16th, and that was this uh, uh, moderately high risk uh, here. Now this. Peak here is coming up on the late on the 17th into the 18th. We could get a 5.0 uh, near Tokyo. Um, this is the, actually the Tokyo forecast here. Late on the 17th into the 18th. And then a more significant 5.5 or even a 6.0 is possible on, uh, on the 20th of January. So look for that near Tokyo. Athens, Greece, we had this 5.2 earthquake that hit on the late on the 12th of January. And you can see our forecast here is late on the 12th into the 13th. We had that 5.2. And then we had a spike in risk on the, uh, the beginning of the 16th. And then the risk begins to fall after that. And again, once more, and uh, again, tomorrow, we're going to have a, a graph for all the different major cities that we're forecasting for. But uh, the key in this forecast is the Los Angeles warning coming up on uh, January 18th 
into the 20th. So most likely on the 19th, but it could occur as soon as the 18th, 19th or early on the 20th, strong earthquake northwest of LA, most likely near Oxnard or Thousand Oaks, somewhere in uh, Northridge, somewhere in the uh, northwest of LA. Uh, during the next, well, this is the, today is the, uh, is the 16th. So within 48 to 72 hours, I guess, the 18th, 19th or 20th, strong earthquake coming to LA. And we'll keep you uh, updated on that. We'll give you some more major cities forecast uh, um, tomorrow in our forecast and we'll keep you updated. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and we will be sure to subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you tomorrow night and it, maybe we'll have some different maps for that warning coming up northwest of LA as well. We'll have a bunch of new forecasts for um, other major cities around the world. Thanks for joining us. And this again, LukeThomasQuakePredictions.com and we'll see you tomorrow.